If you frequently fly into and out of New York, one airport will be mentioned on your ticket, and it will be LaGuardia Airport, the airport everyone is terrified for. People are terrified of LaGuardia Airport. America's LaGuardia Airport has done a recent recent $8 billion makeover, which turned one of America's feared airports to one of the most futuristic and greatest airports in the world. How much of an improvement has LaGuardia Airport made? Let's find out in today's video. Hello and welcome to Building the Future. In today's video, we are going to talk about the $8 billion makeover of LaGuardia Airport. But before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Building the Future, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get started on today's video. At LaGuardia Airport, even the most experienced traveler will shudder when they hear this name. The infamous airport is linked with unreasonable delays, horrendous crowds, and hardly edible food. It's a cultural joke that has inspired sketches on Saturday Night Live and snarky remarks from both regular people and the former president of the United States, Donald Trump. It's a reputation that has been well-earned and will require a lot of effort to overcome. The U.S. most reviled airport has undergone a substantial makeover, so those who despise it will be in for a surprise the next time they fly into or out of it. Although it's still uncertain whether the $8 billion investment would repair LaGuardia, given the multiple issues with the location and configuration, there is only so much one can do. The preliminary findings are quite promising. Let's find out more about this project. Rebuilding Terminal B was part of the LaGuardia project's first phase and was finished in the first quarter of 2022. The terminal, which was initially built in 1964, quickly fell behind schedule as the number of passengers and planes increased. The original terminal included a sizable headhouse from which four fingers extended, serving as parking areas for aircraft. Although it was cutting edge, some passengers had to walk further for the time being since the layout produced dead ends in which no planes could park. Even worse, planes had to be dragged away from the headhouse before taxiing for fear of endangering the structures with the thrust from their engines. By converting to a satellite architecture, the new terminal addresses those problems. The headhouse and two satellite concourses are now connected by sky bridges, allowing planes to travel underneath. Additionally, the inside has undergone a significant renovation. The old LaGuardia Airport's claustrophobic, musty atmosphere has vanished. The brand new Terminal B is an architectural success and a modern airport with the unique ability to evoke the spirit of New York. The LaGuardia project's subsequent phase will concentrate on Terminal C and D which Delta owns. These two terminals will be combined into one building at a cost of $3.9 billion. The new structure will be 120,000 square meters, more than double the combined size of the two old terminals, and it will include new concourses that can accommodate some of the largest and finest airplanes in the world. Will the additional terminals be sufficient to address every issue at LaGuardia? Simply put, no. Since LaGuardia was first considered a desirable location for an airfield in the 1930s, many of its difficulties are partly inherent. LaGuardia is surrounded by the sea on two sides and is additionally constrained by the Grand Central Parkway to the south, which precludes any significant growth outside of a land reclamation effort. Its runway configuration is also a hindrance. They intersect at a right angle near the end, effectively preventing them from being used simultaneously. In the interim, getting to the airport will continue to be complicated. The airtrain LaGuardia has since been derailed, and a proposed ferry port was abandoned during development. A 2.5-kilometer elevated railway known as the airtrain was once considered, and it would have connected Willits Point to the Long Island Railroad and the New York subway. However, that plan was abandoned after it received harsh criticism in Queens from locals opposed to the potential damage it could do to their neighborhoods and others who urged a more direct route to Manhattan. In many respects, LaGuardia is a victim of its success and might never fully recover from its most challenging issues. 
However, the new Terminal B is a marvel of engineering and architecture and will contribute in some small way. Now, with the future renovation of Terminal C and D, LaGuardia Airport will be even further upgraded. There are also plans to upgrade its runways to further smoothen the travel experience. Will LaGuardia Airport be one of the best airports in the future? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel Building the Future and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.